Howdy folks, I'm Stash Dad, and I'm back with another episode of Contradiction. It's past 8 p.m. now, and last time we met Ryan and caught him in a couple of lies he was telling us, and now he's introduced us to his father, Paul, and he seems like he's going to be a whole barrel of fun, so let's go ahead and get into talking to him. How well did you know, Kate? Hardly knew it at all. I met her a few times... But the cause is about all. So when was the last time you saw her? Last uh, Friday. I just popped out of the course and... Uh, about seven. Did you speak to her then? It's possible. And how did she seem? Was she happy, sad, preoccupied? She was drunk. So it's quite well known that... Kate just gets ripped all the time. Do you know if Kate apparently. had lost this? It's her driving license. How would I know that? You didn't see it lying around anywhere? No. What about this bicycle? Did you know anything about Simon Thompson's bike? No. <laughs> Did you know he has homebrew? Ever tried Simon's homebrew? Simon Thompson? No, I haven't. I wouldn't touch anything that has had Simon's fingers in it. Seems very intense. Have you seen this before? Looks familiar. Where did you find it? It was uh, in the woods. Presumably had something to do with Kate or a killer. Well... That's what I'm trying to establish. Shouldn't it be in an evidence bag, Inspector, in case of contamination? I didn't have one with me, unfortunately. Well, don't go testing it for DNA, will you? It's got yours all over it. You can still identify the other DNA on it, too. It's not like the DNA mixes to make a new DNA. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> What do you know about this? It's a freedom necklace. It's a symbol we use um, sometimes on the courts. Little bird in cage flying away. Um, freeing themselves from their past is the analogy. So do they get them when they join the course or something? No, 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 not as a rule. I think I bought one once as a present. Oh, not uh, for Kate by any chance? <laughs> no. Not for Kate. I can't really remember who it was for a birthday <laughs> present, maybe for one of the students. Which student? I've no idea. You've no idea? Have you ever seen one of these before? I believe it's a scrying mirror, pagan thing. What is he now? Ever used one? He does not seem the Why type to know I this information. Crying mirror. So you have no interest at all in this sort of thing? No. Does the Atlas course use them at all? Not at all. Strange question. I have to agree. <laughs> what do you know about this? It looks like a mask. You don't recognize it? Not particularly. It looks like a monarch mask. What's a monarch mask? Monarch is a fancy dress. Outfitters. Ryan goes there sometimes. What about this? What did you hear about an argument in the pub last Friday? I didn't go to the pub last Friday. You didn't hear anything about an argument in the pub? Should I have? No, that's fine. I mean, that depends. Do you keep up with your son's and daughter-in-law's goings at their place of business? I guess that depends on, like, you know, how inquisitive you Could are. Could you tell me a bit about this? Had it designed by an agency. Hmm. And uh, when was that? Last year. Is that when you started the business? Yes, I suppose so. If I did this, would it mean anything to you? I presume you've seen an Atlas student doing that. Ah, so this is an Atlas thing. Well, it wasn't exactly our idea, 
The students started doing it spontaneously to show commitment to the cause. Cute, really. Which student did you see doing that? I'm not sure, but he was carving it into a tree. I told him to stop. Did you really? Why? Defacing public property. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. What's the punishment for that kind of thing nowadays? Prison sentence? Oh, it's usually a fine. All right. What about defiling public liberty? Does that carry a fine too? There's Oddly no enough, such... the student in question argued a similar point. Your freedoms don't exist. You encourage on the Atlas you, course. You we don't have freedoms. People who put ideas first you have and moral temporary rights that can be revoked second. at any time. The problem with the law, Inspector, is that it's out of date. Well, I suppose that's a matter. That's the of problem opinion. with pretty much every law, sir. However, you still respect it. Respect it. I abide by. We all play by the book, Inspector. But that's only because of the threat of possible incarceration. I like to think better of people than that. I don't think we're all not murdering people because we would go to jail otherwise. At least I hope not. Hope I'm not the only one that feels that way. Otherwise, you fucks scare me. Can you tell me a little about the Atlas phrase, free to be free? Where did you hear that? I was talking to one of your students. It's a little phrase we conjured up to summarize our objectives. What is your objective, if you don't mind me asking? Mine, or do you mean the course's objective? On the course. The objective I'd like to know of the both, course actually. is to free people from bondage. We teach that most people are crippled by their past, by guilt, their attitudes, their beliefs, all that kind of nonsense. Guilt cripples people. You're not wrong in feeling guilty in business. Most respects is like a meat eater feeling guilty in an abattoir. Guilt comes from the archaic emotional centers of the brain. It's a vestige of our animal ancestry. That's all. In business, you heed it at your peril. I'm sorry, Inspector. My house appears to be haunted. Do you mind closing the door? Why is this scene in here? Why did this so, make the cut? You believe that guilt has no place in business? None at all. I have few beliefs, Inspector, but that's one of them. And what if you have done something wrong? <laughs> well, that's the whole point. Guilt has nothing to do with it. Hmm. Interesting opinion. I, in, even in business, I suppose it depends on what you've done that you should feel bad about uh i mean you want to get in head of business i mean i don't think you have to necessarily hold other people down but there are going to be people trying to hold you down so you shouldn't let them don't feel guilty about that know what this is by any chance i have no idea gardening isn't my kind of thing rebecca would probably know i presume you've met rebecca yes i have I'm sure she'd enjoy telling you what it is. She's the kind of woman who likes to feel superior. I don't want to sound like a dick. Probably marry a but I know what he means, because she did. Part. Yes, why was that? Uh, well, sir, you're overselling she, yourself. She doesn't exactly have that sort of material. She likes to be... I've seen your house. Like I've what? been outside of it. Shame, isn't it, that I'm in control of both of them? Oh, boy. Somebody has a narcissistic personality disorder, don't they? Have you ever heard of Salvia Divinorum, or Magic Mint? Sounds like it might be a drug. It's a hallucinogenic plant. <laughs> Give, Give him a fact. cookie. Good job. A you figured it out. Take her, Inspector. You, I have no enthusiasm. Your age tells me that you were brain. young in the 60s. You got And highest. you've never seen but... anyone on the course taking it. Well, if someone had, they wouldn't have done it openly. We don't allow drugs or alcohol on our course. We like to tell the students that success is the best drug. Whether you buy into that, of course, is another matter. Uh, I wouldn't call success a drug. I called the dopamine released by the feeling of success something that feels drug-like. How well did you know Liam? Liam who? 
Liam, who took his life. Yeah. Oh. oh. Well, as far as I remember, he was a good student. He plays a good old man. Bad, um, <laughs> you didn't notice any problems? I believe he had problems at home. Were you there when he died? Yes. And afterwards? You didn't see him after the meeting? No. What was Liam like that night? No. Apart from being drunk, or possibly because of that, he seemed perfectly happy. He was drunk? Well, I assume the bottle in his hand contained whiskey and not lemonade. Lots of similarities to Kate, don't you think? Drinking, depression, is that normal for the students? People come into the Atlas course for quick solutions to their problems. And when they don't get them as quickly as they might have liked, sometimes their impatience gets the better of them. I mean, that's, that's real. People like... People want quick solutions to difficult problems. What do you know about this? So you've been graced with Goebbels' company already, have you? <laughs> James, our local minister for propaganda. I suppose Ryan already told you all about our actual previous incarnation. He explained, yes. Did well, he tell you anything scandalous? We caught him lying about it. Unless you count the suicide. Well, I count the oh. lying about it. <laughs> These things happen. Was it your idea? The, what? The suicide? <laughs> Third eye. Yeah, I suppose it was. <laughs> As my son had started to atrophy, I decided I ought to give him something to do. And third eye was the same as Atlas, teaching business skills. Very similar. So Liam's death didn't prompt you to make any changes? There was nothing we could do about Liam's death, Inspector, any more than we could do anything about Kate's. It was out of our control. You can't blame me for wondering, Paul. Two student deaths in two years. It's called a coincidence, Inspector. I expect they ate fast food also. But you're not investigating all the local chippies. There are I no mean, local chippies. What do you... This village has one road! <laughs> uh, sir, you're a liar. Where is it? Aha. So if you don't allow drink or drugs onto the site, why did you allow Liam to drink whiskey all night? Well, oh, what? You see, I... Uh, we did well, give him... The truth is, I'm full of shit. Warnings. You see, and... <laughs> I did try to stop him, but... Uh, didn't work. <laughs> but you let him stay on the course? Yeah, well, we couldn't throw him out. This isn't a primary school. Instance. You're right, it's a private business, police, which means you definitely can throw him out. If they Thus the meaning of private. They're entitled to stay on the court. And what if they want to take drugs? As long as they do it with discretion, frankly, I don't care if they want to <laughs> wipe or inject paint stripper all over their faces. Do you this is the truth, is this man has been? No. <laughs> is there a kitchen? Why, do you want to go down there and check? Well, obviously you wouldn't yeah. mind if what you're saying is true. Of course I wouldn't mind. It's past the lavatories down the corridor, but you won't find any drugs in there or alcohol. Whether I find alcohol at Atlas or not, it probably isn't particularly relevant. But it's worth a look anyway. Thank you. Probably be back later. I get the feeling I might be seeing a lot of Paul tonight. Me too. Actually, so far. <laughs> so the kitchen must be down the corridor there if what Paul said is true. That's right. Yeah. Blue. Cups. How dare they? It's illegal in this country. I think this is just someone's house at this point. What? Interesting. Well, there's a TV right there with a DVD player. I don't Would, think anyone... You want to watch that sort of thing here place. with people around?
that sound. I'm glad I don't have to hear that anymore in my life. The dial-up noise is completely terrible. Right. Did I just... Does this one jacket have two wallets? Did I just see that right? Have I missed that? Or am I just crazy? Well, that was odd. Looked like someone pickpocketing. But why make a video of it? Why make a video of it? It's a good question. We should start here. <laughs> and begin asking people about it. James? Ask you a couple more things, please. Seen this before? No, what is it? Do you recognize it? Oh, come on. Yeah. You sure. know what those letters mean. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's all for the moment. Actually, if Thank there's you. anyone I would believe that hasn't seen it, probably is James. He's too busy uh, conjuring Hulu. Uh, Paul! You're a man that's definitely Just a few seen more this questions, before. If you don't mind. Seen this before? The writing looks familiar, but no. Be back later on, if that's okay. Clearly no one wants to admit to having seen it. It's okay, everyone does. Ask about a few more things, please. Do you know anything about this? No, sorry. Ask Ryan. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. If there's anyone I expected to deny it, definitely her. Anyone that definitely has, though. She's probably made a few. She just seems the type, okay. Simon! Couple more questions, if that's okay. Oh boy. Have you seen this before? No. No, sorry. Thank you. Probably be back later. Have you seen this Emma, do you before? watch this? No. I don't think so. All of them, I swear. Thank you. Probably be back later. Well, let's just take a casual stroll through the woods. Ah. Yes. No! Hey, oh, no! hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? The DVD! That's all they took. It must have been deliberate. Someone clearly wanted that back. <laughs> Maybe it must have been nice deliberate. And helpful of them to leave a piece of evidence behind, though. Nah, Jinx is just a casual mugging. Start from this. Ah, uh, uh, one too many. James. A few more questions, please. Ever seen this seen bag? Seen this anywhere before? Nope. All right. Well, that's all for the moment. It's always Thank great you. chatting with you, bud. Glad we get to know each other so well. We have the deepest convos. Ask you a couple more things, please. You know anything about bags? Have you seen this before? No, I don't think so. You don't recognize the shop? No. Is there someone else who works at Atlas? Someone who may have been there tonight? No. There's a cleaner. Comes at strange times, but then 
He's a strange boy. Work experience. As a cleaner. Well, we did try him in accounts, but didn't work out. <laughs> He's so shitty. And a, a great big liar. Aha. Do you visit Monarch Costumes a lot? No. I used to go in there occasionally. Why? But you do know the shop. Yes, of course I do. You see, Paul, I thought you said you didn't know where this bag was from. Well, maybe I do. This was used to put over my head, Paul, by a mugger. That, Would you like to tell me something? That bit of lying you're in America that had something to do with your mugging. get you arrested. You? That you're you're you really going in for questioning ridiculous now. Questioning. I don't know if in the UK so you can why just did lie, you lie to the police about the shop? during an investigation. Well, but I know in America I you can. I don't do with your mugging inspector, but I might know somebody who did. Go on. Did Ryan mention Jason to you as a cleaner? Unfortunately, um, I was the shitty kid that got in my face a few minutes ago. Told Jason that the DVD mustn't be removed from the site. So, when he saw you take it, he simply thought that he was doing us a favor by uh, well, getting it back. He isn't exactly what you'd call one. Look of at his shit eating grin. Oh, so damn. What's the, DVD the actor's great. So don't get me wrong. All right, it was something I it's did myself a little I'm talking about. stunt. I pulled. To amuse the students. What kind of stunt? Were they amused? I pretended to steal from the students. I emphasized the word pretended. The students knew all about it afterwards. Everything was above board. A steal from students? Why? We were doing a piece about pushing the limit, so I decided I... I would show them how it was done. I don't think you were pushing any limits by stealing your students' money. Everybody's things immediately afterwards, no harm done. And when was this? Last year sometime. At Third Eye or Atlas? Third Eye, I think. And this was before or after Liam died? Well, since you'll probably find out anyway, it happened to be on the night that Liam died, as it happens. Before you ask. No. I didn't steal from him. Do you think it's a good <laughs> so idea great. to encourage students to steal, Paul? I wasn't encouraged. He's so happy with himself. I didn't do it to steal. him. Policemen are so literal. Life is shades of grey, Inspector. Much as the Force might like it, it doesn't divide neatly into blacks and whites. Ah, uh, that depends on how your brain now, works. if you don't mind... Some you people can see the grey and some people can only see in black and white. You know where the door is. It doesn't really have to weigh with the way the world works, it has to do with the way your brain works. I see he was quick enough to claim he didn't steal from Liam. What kind of stunt was that anyway? And Liam dying later the same night? It's just all a bit too suspicious. Alright, so now let's go talk to Rebecca about it. Or wait, did he actually just give us something new? Oh, uh, yes he did. So no, we have to go back to James. James! Did you know this old cunt steals from people? He's terrible. He's my grandfather. Wait, what? Oh, uh, wait, and let's go back. Uh, do you remember how he's doing his own, like, self-humble brag? This isn't... <laughs> I'm sorry if people in the UK find this insulting. This is not the house of a millionaire. Oh, no, wait, that's the farmhouse. Okay. That definitely isn't that. Uh, this is... Actually... Eh. Maybe. Okay, this is Brandon House. No, this is not... Yeah, that was the pub I was looking at. Wait, what was I looking at? It looks completely different from this angle. Yeah, see, now this is the house of a millionaire, but this is the Brandon House. The Brandon House don't look half as nice as... Wait, or is it... I don't understand. <laughs> No, it's saying that it's this one. Yeah, because it's got a brick in the back. Okay. Final decision, not the house of a millionaire. <laughs> J 
James. A few more questions, if you I don't have mind. Questions. Oh, James. Be back later on. James wouldn't okay. even know anything about that. He doesn't know that his grandpa steals from everyone. He look, keeps a blind eye to it. Bet you Rebecca knows, though. Rebecca knows everything that goes on in this village. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Tell us about Did it. Did you know about Paul's money stealing at Atlas? Are you talking about a particular incident or just in general? Uh, it's something he did on the it. course. <laughs> Stunt. And what did he do exactly? Oh, well, he pretended to steal from the students. That doesn't ring a bell. Paul's stunts usually involve throwing fancy dress parties with scantily clad girls or women dressed as nurses. That's his usual fetish. When was the last party he threw? Um, sometime in the summer. I didn't stay long. Maybe the village is much bigger than the map leads us to believe? I don't know. Forgot to ask you Have about you the bag. Have you seen this before, anywhere? Well, I know the shop. A costume shop just outside the village. Ever used it? Not personally, but I think Ryan might have. Thank you. Probably be back later. Matt, what are you doing? Still cooking? That's okay. No? Have you ever seen this bag? Seen this. You know the shop. Yeah, yeah, I know the shop. I hired something from them last year, I think. This is for a party, I assume. Yeah, yeah, something like that. What do you know about Paul stealing money from students? Part of he would Stone never do that. What did he do that? I, I've never heard about anything like that. No, it might be part of the risk-taking thing, though. Explain that. Well, it's it's part of the course. You have to do something dangerous or risky, uh, something you wouldn't normally do. Something dangerous? Well, not dangerous, just just risky. Like um, saying something you wouldn't normally say to someone or uh, doing something unusual. Like stealing from other students. Well, we didn't do anything like that, but you have to tell everyone at the end of the course anyway. And you're not allowed to do anything that would hurt or offend anyone. Or you're not allowed to do anything really bad. It's all pretend, really. It seems a bit old for a business course. It works, though. Not really, Jinx. It, it actually... It seems like extreme business, but... It doesn't uh, seem it that out of place. You. Most people would maybe argue that today's modern business is extreme business, though. Do you, uh, know the shop? Have you used it? No, but I know where it is. Everything's going to be okay. I just... I need to, like, calm Emma and let her know everything's going to be okay. She's so troubled. What do you know about Paul Rand? Paul the Slime. You've obviously met him, then. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. What do you know about him committing a fake theft during one of the courses? What, about him going through people's bags? Yeah, he tried that thing on me as well, weirdo. So you were at Third Eye? Yes. Yes, I, I went there for a few months after college and I left because I hated it. And I didn't know Atlas was the same thing. And I went with Simon. Does Simon know that? No. I didn't want to burst his bubble, so I didn't say anything. So he doesn't know you went to Third Eye? No. Ah! So is that where you met Ryan as well? Yep. Right. What, uh, what didn't you like about the course? Well, it was just... It was stupid. They just made you do things to other people and be abusive just to prove that you could, and I absolutely hated it. What sort of things? Oh, just stupid things. Nasty things to prove that you Hit could do it. Hit them with hammers. Not feeling guilty. Run them over. And it was horrible. That's why I left. And is Simon doing all of this stuff now? No. No, I, I think they had to stop because it was just getting ridiculous. I think somebody got arrested or something. Very interesting. 
All right, uh, apparently I am misremembering it. I've looked through all of these and I don't see the contradiction that I know is supposed to be here in my head. So Thank that you. means I'm supposed Probably to do something later. else. So <laughs> I'm going to walk around. I, I know there's nothing that happens in the woods again yet. It's there. Oh, shoot. He invited us to come join the seminar. I forgot the, it, the class has started. Let yourself go. Feel your soul. Lifting. Then wait. For the moment to break free. <laughs> well, could you come out and news? What's going on here? What? Why? You invited me. Please leave. Sorry, Ryan. There's a few you, more questions. You asked me to come. And, uh, what do you mean, I'm leave? Sticking by. Leave. Well, you're a dick. Who invites someone just to tell them to leave? Ass. Give me that look. You're the asshole here. You said 15 minutes. Why don't you come by? I came by. Look at me like I'm the jerk. <laughs> Ew. What's this? Now I will. James is going Four to have the best please. conversation about this, I bet. I bet he's going to be able to tell me so much. What do you know about doll burning? Doll burning? What sort of doll burning? It doesn't mean anything to you. No. Should it? No, that's okay. Now he's confused. He's like, wait, uh, that's does he moment. know something super cool that I don't know? Is he in on a secret I'm not? James is going to spend the next 15 minutes having a freak out, wondering if he's got FOMO or not. Oh, we've been kicked out. For now. Which, uh... I wish I understood different laws for different parts of the world I don't think if you, there's an open investigation I don't think you can just tell the police that they can't come round I'm pretty sure they're allowed to so those are Ryan's guitars kept in a, a garage squire well, and really the best place to keep them probably another squire for production budget purposes <laughs> Let's go talk to Rebecca. Ding dong. Rebecca, I have Skip more silly questions. Things, do you know about dolls? What do you know about doll burning at Atlas? Only that it's part of the course. I'm not entirely sure what they're for, but I made dozens for him. You made them? Oh, Ryan can't make anything. He's practically dyspraxic. I make it from the flesh of the survivors. What? <laughs> Nothing. Does Ryan play the guitar? <laughs> he tries. He does keep wasting money on them, though. I think he believes if he buys the right one, he'll suddenly turn into Jimi Hendrix. Sad, really. I just... Let him play in his room as long as he plays. He's a millionaire and he bought three hundred dollar guitar. What do you care? Cause the this family's millionaire lifestyle is a lie. That's be why. Be back later on if that's okay. The Audi was nice though.
I have a feeling that it's there simply because somebody knew somebody on set that had one of that. I really need it to work for this. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. What do you know about doll burning? Not on the course. It's a ritual thing. It's uh, getting rid of things that you don't need. Throw it into the fire. I can, I can thing. get this. Well, yeah, it helps you get rid Jinx, of why are you down you on everything, need, my dude? So you can move on and take control again. Some it's of this is cool. positive stuff, man. They're just to help you get into the right frame of mind. Uh, just get you into the zone, you know, help with the trance. A trance? Yeah, yeah. It's like, um, it's like self-hypnosis. We do it on the course sometimes. It's just to help you get into the right frame of mind, you know? Yeah. So you hypnotize yourself. How do you do that? Just stare into a mirror and chant something, you know, just say the same thing over and over again. Or you could just close your eyes and put yourself into a trance. Some people can do that. And that's safe. Well, yeah. Hypnosis doesn't work the way that most people think it does. You can't just be hypnotized if you don't want to be hypnotized. But you can learn to hypnotize yourself. What did you say it was called? Auto-hypnosis? Self-hypnosis, auto-hypnosis, same thing, really. Most commonly known as meditation. I think Simon was a bit <laughs> too quick to play down the role of auto-hypnosis on the course. I'll have to uh, ask around about this. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Let's see, uh, do you know about dolls? What do you know about doll burning? Doll burning, I think it was something that they did on the course. Simon mentioned it. No, they didn't do that when you were there. No. I wouldn't do anything that dumb. What do you know about Ryan's guitar collection? I know he plays because he tried to buy one off me. Do you play? I used to. I used to be in a band, but I was a singer as well, so I got away with it. Singer as well? <laughs> yeah, Ooh. I used to sing in a band every night. But uh, sometimes it was in a pub, but usually at Rebecca's. What was that called? It was called Blackstone. And uh, this guy from a record company once came to see us, and he said the band was rubbish, but that I was good. So after that, I don't think they liked me much, and then <laughs> we broke up after college. Can't hide talent. He apparently has, because it doesn't appear she's Do done you anything know with it. What auto hypnosis is? Um, it's some type of self hypnosis, isn't it? Yeah. Have you ever tried it? Most people have. No, I haven't. But I think Kate was into it. She learned it from when she went to Atlas. And what did she tell you about it? Um, not a, not a lot, really. I think it helped her. I think she used it as a sort of self-meditation. All right, so, first things first. Emma, uh -huh. I put all of my faith into that it. band you sang in, Blackstone. You just keep Who disappointing else was in the band. Me. Um, just a few people from college, including Liam. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Why did you say you didn't know him? Uh, she's very no, sad. It's, it's not that. I just thought she's very sad. You meant that I didn't know about his suicide. Did you? No, I was <clears throat> away on a holiday. When he died. Yeah, I only knew him through the band. Emma. She definitely knows more than she's saying. She was in a band with Liam, but didn't know about his problem? I'm not sure I believe you, Emma. I... I'm trying so hard, Emma. Aha. Uh -huh. You just keep putting me down. So, you witnessed Paul's money-stealing stunt, is that it's right? Okay. I know why she's lying. Yes. But you weren't there when Liam died. No. Don't quite understand that, you see, because Paul pulled the stunt on the same night. Liam died later that evening. Um, no. I, uh, I must have mixed up. So you yeah. don't know anything about Liam's That's death, okay. even though you were there on that night? Mm, no. Emma. I think you better explain, don't you? Well, it was the stupid course, wasn't it? Go on. <sighs> well, we were all told to do stupid things and and then that thieving thing happened, and so... Take a breath, Emma. <sighs> Liam killed himself because of me. He didn't. Why? 
um, Liam had a, a birthmark on the side of his face. And no one would mention anything, even though we all knew it was there. And we all thought, they all thought it was ugly. So I thought I'd say something and I, I even asked Paul if it was okay to say it. Yeah, what did he say? He said he wouldn't mind. I do not. He said he wouldn't and mind. Liam killed himself. Liam said because of me. No, no, Emma, he's not. Well, Emma, I'm quite sure you regret what you said, but I really don't think you caused Liam's death. You, There's always did. more to these things than meets the eye. See, this is an example of somebody with a bunch because of guilt Simon that they shouldn't have. Simon doesn't need to know. Don't worry. Thank you. I suppose it's possible that what she said led to Liam's death, but I really doubt it. I blame the Rands before I blame her. Alright folks, now it's after 9pm, so that means it's time to end this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, go ahead and leave a like, and if you want to see the next episode, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I have enjoyed every bit of this up to this point, and I hope you have as well. It's just, I adore this game. The campy acting, it's so great. But I'm going to leave it here now. I love all of you, and remember, a stash isn't the hair on your lip. It's the source of your power.